Welcome, bienvenue to Maison Goldblum. My name is Emily Goldblum. I will be guiding you through a class that is based in simple, fluid, and balletic movements. I call this technique intuitive stretch fitness. Listen to your body and lean into what your individual needs are for the day. I hope you have a great class. From standing feet together at the center of your mat, I want you to jump your legs apart and land with your toes facing out as you lower your hips down toward the floor by bending your knees as far as you can go. We're here for 10. You're thinking of landing on the ball of your feet and your heels last so that you land as lightly as possible in your deep turned out squat, or as we like to call it, grand plie. For our next exercise, you're going to have your feet wide apart, wider than your hips, and your toes are facing forward. Fold your body over and extend your arms straight in front of you, lifting those heels off the ground for 10. Think of pressing your hips up to the sky and thighs back for a little warming up of the back of your legs. Now, from straight legs, you're going to squat and lower your body down as you lift your arms up your torso up toward the sky for 10. Bringing the navel in toward your spine as you extend those arms up, lowering the hips and reaching up. And breathe. Next, we're coming down into surfer's lunge on your right side. I want you to angle your toes slightly out and lower your hips. And once you find your balance, I want you to bring your hips up to your knee height and alternate from side to side. You're here for 10 or for as long as you can go without your hands on the floor. And now place your hands on the floor and crawl from side to side by bringing some of that weight off of your legs and placing that weight into your hands on the floor. And we're here for another 10. Press your butt back and engage your entire core and lower back muscles. Press into those hips each time you bend onto one of your sides, left or right. Bring your body back up, toes facing forward, and your hands on your hips. Now come to the end of your mat, take a big inhale and fold forward, crawl your hands forward. We're going to start going into what I love and what I like to call my down dog body waves. So anchor the palms down and pull your chest forward as you lift your head up toward the sky and then drawing those hips all the way back for 10. Keep repeating, pressing your navel in toward your spine as you rotate those thighs back to come back to down dog each time. Now we're transitioning into side plank. I like to stagger my legs apart, so I have my right palm down with my left leg slightly in front of my right leg. You're going to, with control, let your hips dip down for five. Press the hips up and lower down, really working those oblique muscles. And now here we're going to switch sides. So come to plank and place your left palm into the ground and you're going to lower and lift those hips for five. 
If you need, you can bend that left knee down onto the ground as an option. Now, from plank, you're turning your body to face the floor and come into a forearm plank. Here, you'll take your right leg, bend it slightly so that your right ankle sits just above your left ankle. You're taking it all the way up to the side in a side attitude, drawing an arc with your toes, lifting it up and over to your side. Tap the toes onto the floor and bring it back to the left ankle. Breathe and squeeze those glutes. Stay with me. Now you're going to run it out for 10. And we're taking it onto the other side. Left leg bends and lifts, arching it all the way over to your left side, tapping those left toes onto the floor. Stay focused and breathe. Keep going. Well done. One last push here. Keep that momentum going and step your feet one or two steps closer and come into dolphin stretch as you dive your nose forward in between your hands. Really grounding your forearms into the floor and pressing those hips back and forward as you tap your nose slightly in front of you. You're here for 15. Keep breathing. You're almost there. I know you're feeling the burn in your arms. And now you come back down onto your knees. Roll up. Step or jump your feet forward to sitting with your knees bent and together. Your hands are on the mat behind you with your fingertips facing forward. Lift the heels and lift your bottom off of the ground. You're taking your right leg straight up and then you're going to lower it down for 10. Think of a ballet movement, it's called grand battement. So you're bringing that leg up with force, with power, with strength. Everything is engaged. Now we're going into our pulses. Pulse it in towards your chest. And switching legs. Now we're onto your left leg, pulsing in to your body, straightening that knee. Now lower and lift for another 10. 10 grand battements here. And another 10 pulses with your left leg. Next side, we're doing mini circles here with your right leg, circling it in, really engaging those inner thigh muscles. And now you're going to take it out. So you really have to engage those abs to keep you in your center and lowering and opening that right hip. This is really challenging your core, but I know you've got it in you. Now we're switching legs. Left leg, our mini circles, drawing circles with those toes high up in toward the sky. You're going to take it out to your left side, working those hip flexors. I know it's not lost on me that your arms are burning by now, but you've got this. Keep lifting yourself up off the ground. Now, one last push on both sides. Tricep dips. You've got that right leg all the way up to the sky and you're lowering and bending, bending those arms. Breathe, pull that navel in and switch sides. You're almost there, you can do it. 
15 on this side with your left leg straight up. You can readjust yourself if you need to. Lowering and lifting, bending those elbows, really working those triceps. Well done, you did it. Now you're going to crawl forward and come down onto your stomach. You're going to make a V shape with your arms and turn onto your left side, keeping your left arm behind you for a little shoulder stretch. From your side, you're going to scoot your legs further in front, creating a small V shape with your body. Now send that right top leg back for 15 and press your chest forward. Your right arm is extended way in front of you to help you balance. If the stretch is too deep in your left shoulder, then by all means, bring your left arm straight above you in line with your head and shoulder. Keep squeezing those glutes as you send that leg back behind you. And we're here for 10 more seconds. Wrapping those outer thighs back and in toward your midline. Beautiful. Now you're going to place the palms of your hands facing down and come into this mini twist back bend push up. Your legs are in a ballet fifth position. You're twisted slightly facing the floor for 10. Your arms are wide, elbows are bending wide and you're getting a nice stretch in your lateral side and low back. Lift and lower with control. Nice long neck, relax the shoulders back and breathe. Wonderful, we're going to do all that over again on your other side. You're going to turn onto your right side from the V shape in your arms and give your right shoulder a little shoulder stretch. From your right side, scoot your legs in front of you and take your left top leg back, slicing it back for 15 seconds. Leg is nice and straight. really squeezing those glutes when you lift that leg and sending that leg back behind you. Pressing your chest forward, helping you gain the balance you need to send that leg back. Now you're going to twist your body toward the floor, placing your hands at chest level and as wide as your mat to push up your chest and lower it down, controlled for 10. I love these mini twisted back bends because they really give me that extra stretch in my low back and the entire lateral side that I'm working on. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Next, you're coming onto your belly and you're going to open your legs up into a straddle with straight legs. And then you're going to squeeze your legs and your ankles back together for 25. And you have three options here. You can lay your forehead down on the backs of your hands or you can bring your hands up onto your forearms or the most difficult and challenging one would be bringing your hands all the way up next to your ears and head. And you're really squeezing those inner thighs and glutes in and out, lifting it off of the ground. A 
And if you need more space to lift those legs off the ground, place a couple of blankets, pillows, or blocks underneath your hips to provide that space until you've gained the flexibility and the strength to do this flat on the floor. Next, I'm taking you into these up dog push-ups with your hands on the mat in front of your chest. You have the option to keep your forearms on the ground and just push up into a baby cobra instead. Keep lifting that chest, keep that neck nice and long, and your elbows tight and close into your body. Next, you're going to bend your knees, squeezing your ankles together, and lift those thighs off of the floor. Again, use that blanket or those pillows to get that height. You're lifting with your ankles squeezed together. Those thighs are coming off of the floor for 25. Now I want you to open your knees as your thighs are lifted and squeeze the inner thighs back together again for 25. Opening the knees out into froggy and then closing them back in towards each other. Opening those hips and squeezing those glutes. Once you're done, keep your legs in a long and wide froggy position to push your chest up. You're going to give yourself an extra little stretch here, lowering your torso and lifting it up working the backs of your arms as you stretch your back and hips. You can close the knees and bend those knees further, or you can choose to leave the knees at a 90 degree bend. If you keep them at the 90 degree bend, you're stretching your inner thighs, and then if you bend them hard, you're really stretching deep within your hip flexors. Now bring your knees back together, push your body up to all fours, and you're going to release those hips back down towards your ankles for an extended child's pose for four resting breaths. Really reaching those fingertips away from your chest, away from your body, and lengthening your spine back toward your heels. Breathe. Roll your body up and walk or jump your feet forward to come into reverse tabletop. Your feet are as wide as your hips, shoulders are in line with your wrists, and as wide as your shoulders. Press your bottom up and hips to the sky. You're lowering those hips and lifting them up as you lift your heels off the ground for 10. Lower and then squeeze up, giving those hip flexors a little stretch. Now you're going to glide your bum all the way back in between your hands. If you need more space here, place your hands underneath blocks or books. This is really going to target your lower abdominals. So really think of pressing the navel in toward your spine. Take your time, lift the hips all the way up to the sky and glide them all the way back. Breathe and keep lifting and gliding back. Now I want you to lower your derriere down to the floor and reach your arms far behind you with your fingertips facing forward. Pressing your chest up, I want you to bend your elbows to stretch your shoulders and straighten your elbows. Bend and straighten. 
We're here for 10 for a nice reverse push-up stretch, anchoring those hips down into the ground as you open your upper chest, upper back, and look up. Expand the rib cage and contract it back down. Lift. And now you're going to start pulsing the chest, just small little movements, thinking of opening that chest and pressing that chest up to the sky for 10. Now, you're going to transition and walk your feet slightly further in front of you and lift those hips up for five. We're doing an upward plank pose, lifting all the way up, squeezing those glutes, keeping those arms nice and straight. Wrists are in line with your shoulders. Ankles are squeezed together and press into the heels as you lift those hips all the way up. Lift up. And now you're going to come back down and lift hips all the way up. And we're gonna hold here. You're pulsing those hips, thinking of stretching that hip flexor just a little bit more. Well done, we made it. Now we're going into our cool down stretches. Now you're coming down to sitting and you're going to take and swing that left leg all the way back behind you. And your right leg, you can either bend it as a, at a 90 degree angle or further where your ankle is coming all the way back towards your pelvic girdle. And we're going to circle those arms all the way back, nice and elegantly. You're gonna round those elbows up and back. You're looking toward your hands with each circle back for eight. This is a nice active cooling down stretch, stretching those glutes. Now, Crawl your hands forward and frame your right leg in front of you. Extend those arms and just hold and rest in this position. Let your breath expand into your stretch for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Now pressing your body all the way back up, you're gonna switch legs. Bring your left leg forward and swing your right leg all the way back straight. If you keep your knee bent at a 90 degree angle, you'll feel more of a stretch in those glutes. And if you bend it quite a lot close into your pelvic girdle, then you'll feel less of a stretch. Here we go. We're circling those arms all the way back, looking to your left arm, and then circling and looking to your right arm. Breathe and lift back. Contract down to lift up. Keep circling. Wonderful, you're gonna crawl those hands back in front of your left leg, and then you're going to rest into this stretch, letting your breath do the work, deepening the stretch through your breath. way back up and we're gonna come onto our backs you're gonna lay on your backs for threading the needle with your right leg 
take your right leg and place that right ankle on top of your left thigh. Bring the left leg straight, as straight as you can up to the sky and holding the back of your left thigh. You're pointing that left toe down to flex it straight up. Straight, flex, point, bend it down. We're here for 10. Really using the leverage of your hands, pulling that left thigh closer to your chest and then using your right knee to press away from your chest. Straight flex and point. Now we're switching sides. You're gonna bend that left knee, take the left ankle and place it on top of your right thigh. Holding back behind your right leg, point it down and flex that leg all the way straight. Point down and straight with a flex. Point and bend. Lovely. Breathe and keep moving through this motion for 10. Really straightening the back of that knee. Feeling the nice stretching that's happening, opening that left thigh, left hip. Squeeze everything in, give yourself a hug. You made it, you did it, and you should be proud of yourself. Thank you, thank you so much for being here and taking class with me.